Mission. Give it to God, BBQ! Hammond, Ponchatoula. Um, we're doing a, uh, we're doing the practice tune-up preseason barbecue cook-off. Um, doing it just like a regular competition. Tomorrow's turn in 12, 12, 30, 1 and 1, 30. And, uh, but first, well, as a matter of fact, we're down here at church. We do church service for the truck drivers every uh, every Sunday. And it's going to be perfect timing because by the time I get back, we've got about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. That will simulate that I've gotten to the event, set up camp, which is already set up. And we'll do, uh, you know, it'll be like the meat was inspected. So by 10 o'clock, I'll be ready to go and start prepping meat. So we're here at church. Check it out for the drivers. This is our church. We got kicked out. All the others can start asking about money. Gather together, sing your face, hear your word, Father God, and put up our prayer request. These songs, she forgot to tell you, is God singing to us. The first two, right? Yeah, the first two is it's and they're just great songs. You listen to them in the perspective of Jesus talking to you. Surely you know. I always want to be there. This is a big cry for yeah, us. Sure. Yeah, this is huge. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, we're glad you guys are all here. I know you're from Franklinton. Yes, sir. He's back again, Brother Joe. You ain't preaching hard enough. I'll get it today. Where are you guys from? California. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> Where are you from? Tennessee. Tennessee? Florida. Florida? Now, if there's people here from Atlanta, I really give them a, you know, hey, sorry to hear that, you know, kind of thing. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> We, uh, we're glad you guys are here. Where are you from, sir? Tennessee. Okay, all right. We'll let you go. <laughs> no, you're right. He's, he's standing out on the perimeter out there. He's like, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. But I'm going I'm to be in a spot where I can escape if I need to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we appreciate you guys being here. We really do. This is our church. We don't have another church, you know, that we go to. You know, we just come out here and talk to the drivers. This is it. We got kicked out of all our other churches. You know, we start asking about money, they get a little upset, you know, say, you're free to go, you know, kind of, you know, so we do that. We always start off with also, we tell everybody every week, don't believe anything we tell you about God. Don't believe what anybody ever tells you about God until you check it out for yourself in the Bible. The Holy Spirit's got to be your teacher. No That's man, right. no, you don't, yeah, none, man. none of that kind of stuff. You just... You, you got to let the Holy Spirit teach you and guide you and direct you. If you and I trust in the Lord and and do, I don't do everything right, but He knows I'm trying. He knows I want to serve Him. I want to do what He wants me to do. And I thank Him so many times a day. How was that for some church service, huh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. That was a great crowd. I think that was one of the best crowds we've ever had. It's uh, a little later than normally. It's about 10, thir 10 13, the atomic clock says. And uh, gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to prep the brisket, prep the uh, pork butts, get those ready to go, um, and get ready to have uh, get ready to have barbecue. We're uh, going to do a little cook's meeting. <laughs> 
and uh, Caroline's in there painting away in the kitchen. But uh, just wanted to uh, get started, have some barbecue fun, and practice, and, and really dial in on all those, uh, all that finishing type stuff. You know, tightening everything up. Like I said, it, it's it's. Uh, there's so much to it. It's funny, you know, when I try and explain it to people, and I'm sure you guys at barbecue, you, you know, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it's really finishing up um, and, and not not tailing off, you know, at the end with the presentation, with how you finish it and cut it and powder it or sauce it or juice it or whatever we're doing with it. Um, I'm doing that right. So that's, that's what I'm going to be practicing on. Um, feel really good about, like I said, everything I'm doing. And uh, just gonna just gonna working on consistency and working on uh, working on putting out that best product that I can put out. So that's the practice, and uh, I gotta I gotta get to work. Like I say, I'm a little bit late. Normally I'd have this done about 9:30, but uh, glory to God, his timing now mine. All right, I'm gonna try something. Well, I've only done it once. I did it once before I turned the camera on. <laughs> Making boxes as a one-man team is something that I usually do on Friday, but it cuts into my nap time. You know what I'm saying? So, a lot of guys have told me, they said, hey, you know, make your boxes up ahead of time. And uh, and then when you get there, you just kind of transfer from one into the other. And I'm thinking to myself, how the heck do you do that? And uh, so anyways, long story short, somebody was explaining it to me the other day, and I can't even remember where. But um, I just tried it. It worked. And uh, so let me, sh I'll, I'll just kind of walk you through what I'm talking about. Okay. Here's the box that I did. This is the box I made up yesterday, partially boxed. So pretend like I made it before I went anywhere. So it's there. It's all nice and got the paper down there. It's, you know, fluffed up really nice. Nice, nice box, okay? So those, that would be like the boxes that I would bring to the competition. And then you get your blank boxes from the KCBS people. Okay? So what I'm going to do on my box that I made up, and if any of you guys out there have suggestions on how I can do this better, I, am, I don't have any pride associated with this, with this particular operation. Okay. All right, and then I'm just, I'm holding that paper towel, wet paper towel, keeps them fluffy, but it also allows me to hold on to that. Okay. Might lose a couple in the process. So anyways, here I go, I got my box, and I'm going to transfer it. Well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this off because that, that makes life more difficult. And I don't need it to be more difficult. Hear the rain? This is really a good simulation. We got rain going on. Okay, so there's, there's the box that I made. And my KCBS box. Pretty much a good... Pretty much a good transfer, although this one kind of popped out a little bit. But there it is. Basically done. You know, I mean, I got to fix it up and clean it up, and then I got my extras that I can fill in the deep, the the missing pieces with. But for the most part, this sucker with probably three or four minutes of fussing with it, this box is going to be ready to go, as opposed to taking an hour and a half, you know, cutting into nap time and all that. So. I'll fuss around with this, fill in the blanks. There you have it. Just another little tidbit on how you can make your life easier at a professional barbecue competition. Thank you, Jesus. Well, good morning. <laughs> it's that very special time in the morning. It's quarter to five. Ah, sitting out here in my driveway, barbecuing all night, showing you pictures of last year, just kind of random shots of the year.
fun I had barbecuing. This is that time when the sun's not up yet, but it's getting ready to break a new day that um, I absolutely love this time of day. The barbecue is going fantastic. Um, my brisket's pulled, cambroed, pork butts are cambroed, and uh, both of them turned out really well. The, the burn ends are, <laughs> are just <laughs> incredible. Um, so, thank you, Jesus, for certified Angus prime beef. <laughs> I'm so blessed. I'm, I'm an extremely blessed man. And uh, so far from perfect, I can't even see perfect. But the Jesus in me is perfect. And uh, we all struggle with stuff. Just because you say you're a Christian or you surrender your life to Jesus doesn't mean the struggles go away. You still have them. But it's fighting a battle with... Uh, with the winner on your team, and uh, and that's very cool. You know, Scripture tells us, whoever is in Christ is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. If you're uh, if you're wanting to go to heaven, it's going to require complete surrender which will mean big changes in your life. God is so cool how he works things out. You know, the name of my team, give it to God. And uh, so many times I have to just do that, but I have to be reminded of that. And, uh, and then on, on my team shirts on the back, it says, what are you waiting for? In big letters. And... Uh, and I'm just preaching to myself with all this stuff, you know, give it to God, what are you waiting for, surrender to Jesus. Self-preaching. <laughs> so if any of you out there get something out of it, well, that is bonus. Lanyap. Which reminds me, today's Monday, tomorrow is Mardi Gras, uh, Fat Tuesday. Uh, followed up by Ash Wednesday. So down here in New Orleans, because we work in New Orleans, the, the town is virtually shut down. So we have uh, Monday and Tuesday off. That's why I'm doing the barbecue practice round and tuning up to get it all ready to go. But uh, it's uh, it's pretty amazing concept, Mardi Gras. Parades, festival, partying, drinking, out of control, drunkenness, revelry, debauchery. Uh, and then Wednesday comes, you get your ashes, you're good to go. You're okay, everything's fine. <laughs> Read the book, folks. Read the book. Amazing what God will show you. I am thankful that I have two days off. I would gladly give up these days off if everybody got saved and they saw no need for a fat Tuesday ever again. But that's just me. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways. I got to tend to my barbecue, and uh, so there you have it. God bless you. If you haven't surrendered your life to Jesus, right now is a good time to do so. <laughs> God bless you. All right. Hey, uh, I appreciate you waiting. Um, I had a little... Uh, Challenge breaking down. We got some weather out there. This uh, this uh, preseason cook-off was uh, just like uh, what we encountered out there on the circuit. It uh, uh, we had weather. We had serious weather. 
Um, but uh, I got everything turned in on time. Uh, didn't miss a beat, and uh, felt like we did really good. It uh, the overall, you know, I'm real happy with where we're at. Uh, hoping that uh, you know the judges see the same thing, you know, when they're looking at it and uh, tasting it. But uh, everybody performed well. Uh, chicken, ribs, pork, and brisket all uh, all did a good job today, and uh, real happy with it, especially the finish. Uh, coming in strong and uh, finishing good and, and some really good boxes that I put together. I was real happy with the boxes. So, um, still got to break down the camp a little bit and clean up, but uh, we're ready to we're ready to get here. Me, I'll, I'll open it up for some questions. Anybody got any questions? Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for your time and for sure. competing today, first of all. Um, I'd like to know, what do you think, in your opinion, was your hardest cook today? Uh, that's a good question. I'm going to say brisket. Brisket's always been difficult, um, and you know I'm going with a, with a better cut and and a thin one. So I haven't cooked thin ones. I was I was a little nervous about that, but um, I was really glad and, and pleased with how it came out. Even being thin, I think I think we did we did a good job. Got a good smoke ring on it. We had good moisture in it, and that's so why I was really worried about those thin ones can dry out. But uh, uh, brisket probably was the most challenging for sure. Hmm. Okay, now. What do you foresee as possibly your biggest challenge this year? Ah, uh, the, these other teams. You know, it seems like the I'm hitting the circuit down here in the south. You know, uh, Pensacola, Mobile, Tupelo, Hammond, Slido. And it seems like it's stacked with, like, you know, the top 10, 20 in the country are going to be down here. So, I mean, some of these other guys, you know, competing up in the northwest, and Minnesota, New York, and all that kind of stuff, they might have, like, one guy. You know, one legit guy showing up. And I don't mean that they're not legit, but what I'm saying is, you know what I mean, we come down here, we got 10, 12, 15 guys that uh, are heavy hitters. So uh, my biggest challenge is going to be uh, breaking breaking in with the big boys. So is what you're saying that in this region of the country, you would say are the better barbecue cooks? Well, there's no doubt about it. The South is the barbecue capital. Uh, of the world, um, I think anything you know from from Memphis uh, over to Kansas City and then down south is is where you're going to find the world's best barbecue cooks and and, comp and competition barbecue teams. Uh huh. Uh -huh I see. You agree? Uh, you're the expert. You're a reporter. Answer the question. I just asked a question. Okay. <laughs> uh, anybody else? Anybody else got any questions? I've got one. Uh, any, anybody else? I do. Okay. What? what? <laughs> Um, I like to know what do you think, or what do you do? You think you're going to have any big adjustments to make this year? Uh, no, not really. You know, then that's 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 a really cool thing. It's coming into my third year. Let's let's say it's my junior year, uh, and uh, so kind of been down the road. So I'm a first rodeo. Uh, we're starting off competition number 37, and. Uh, you know, I'm not going to make any big adjustments. It's really fine-tuning at this point. I'm fine-tuning everything. Feel real good about the recipes. Feel real good about uh, sauces, uh, uh, rubs, uh, the meat we're using, how we're doing it, and all that kind of stuff. It's finishing technique and getting better at cooking that product the way it needs to be cooked. Now, you say you're happy with your recipes. Yeah. So does that mean there are no changes in the future for the recipe? Minor tweaks. I'm talking minor tweaks. Uh, real settled in on, on on what we're using, the ingredients that we're using, uh, the, the different rubs, different sauces, mm -hmm. and uh, and we're going to stick with that simple stuff, simple stuff, and uh, we're going to let the meat do the talking and not uh, not kill it with uh, sauces and, and, uh, and rubs. I see. Now... What are you looking forward to most this barbecue season? This being your third year in competitive barbecue. I think taking it up a notch. I mean, I think I think when we go uh, to the American Royal, um, we're entering Sam's. We'll see how we do there. See if we make it to the regionals, which would be great. And regionals are up to the nationals in Benville. You know, we're in line to maybe have an opportunity to do that. May may not. May may this may be the only one we do over in Daphne. But we're going to go to the Royal uh, because of our grand champion last year. Uh, we may get a draw for the Jack. So uh, the, our game is elevating uh, to the to the uh, 
to the big leagues, and uh, and that that's exciting for us. That's what I see the biggest change in this year. Still learning, still a couple years away from from really, you know, uh, what I feel is is kind of in the groove. I, I still got a lot to learn on that finishing, on that end stuff. You know, getting getting the product where we need it to be. So right. Now, one more question for you. What do you enjoy most about competitions? Well, that would have to be uh, 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 everything. <laughs> From the time I pull my brisket out of the freezer on Sunday till the time I put my mops and my rags away the following Sunday after I've cleaned out the trailer and getting ready to go to the next one, I enjoy every step along the way parsley boxes and chicken skin scraping maybe the two not looking most forward to but I uh, you know look I, everything else I absolutely love the sport of barbecue so. but is there is there is there I know you have to hey, go on I know we, gotta go. we gotta we gotta go right, I know right. right. One, okay what do you got I, one more, one more. Question, one question. there's got to be one thing uh -huh. about going to a competition and mm -hmm. being there mm -hmm. that you just really you just you just love. What's that one thing? I know you love everything, but what's that one well, thing? Well, it'd have to be listening to my wife's music. You know, I mean, I, I, I got that at CD, and I just repeat it, and I listen to it over and over. Caroline Krieger, songwriter, and she's got a new CD out called uh, I Am For Somebody, and it's a fan, it's fantastic music. You know, it's just kind of kickback, keeps me mellow, and, and, and if, there's, if I point to one thing, it's having the opportunity to spend that much time Listening to her music and praying and being with God, alone with God, for the entire weekend and sharing the love of Jesus. That has to be the most important thing. And that's why I'm out there. Because it's all about giving it to God. Thanks. I appreciate your questions. Got to go. Got to wrap up. We'll see you guys down the road, Daphne. It's really old.